Confined spaces plus hazardous atmospheres create a double whammy called PRCS or Permit Required Confined Spaces. Portable gas monitors are designed just for them. Let's look into them next. Hello, I'm Dan Clark of The Safety Brief, tackling health and safety hazards in today's demanding industrial and construction work sites, complements of creative safety supply. Confined spaces is a current topic in the world of safety. The new Confined Spaces in Construction standard went into effect August 3rd. OSHA delayed full enforcement for residential construction again, now a second time, until January 8, 2016. But this doesn't mean job sites are immune from confined spaces safety. In both the general industry and the new construction standard, employers must have a system to alert workers of hazardous atmospheres in confined spaces. You want a portable gas monitor in these permit-required confined spaces. Examples of hazardous atmospheres, carbon monoxide, low oxygen, hydrogen sulfide, You can't really rely on smell, as some gases don't have an odor. Here's an example. Hydrogen sulfide smells like rotten eggs at low concentrations, but when there's a lot of it, it paralyzes the sense of smell so people don't notice it. This can be a problem for sewer workers. Gas detection best practices. 1. Use a direct reading portable gas monitor. 2. Test the monitor daily before use by exposing it to a gas that will set off all of its alarms. This is called a bump test or calibration check. 3. If the gas monitor fails a bump test, perform a full calibration according to the manufacturer instructions. 4. If the monitor is fine, test the atmosphere prior to entering a space. Because some gases weigh more than others and can settle in the bottom of a space, be sure the air where the entrant will be working is tested. 5. Test continually while work is performed. Some monitors can be worn by the worker. 6. When the space is vacated, perform a re-entry test before entering again. And finally, don't forget the basics of confined spaces. Companies must have plans for confined space entry, and three people must be involved. 1. The entrant, the person who performs the work. 2. The attendant, the person who stands nearby in contact with the entrant. And 3. The supervisor who oversees work performed. That's all for this episode, Confined Spaces with Hazardous Atmospheres. Come back for more ways to stay safety compliant in today's ever-changing landscape of safety requirements. I'm Dan Clark of The Safety Brief, a service of Creative Safety Supply. Save 10% off your entire order at creativesafetysupply.com with coupon code BIG10. 